are from me seeing that. Yeah? Okay, thank you. So, other than that, it was, it was great. Do I know this island called Marutius? Marutius? No, I don't. Please tell me where that is. Was the music video planned or were you just hanging out? Your chemistry is amazing. Which video are you talking about? Because if you're talking about All I Need music video, yes. We didn't plan nothing out. We just told the camera guy, hey, start recording. And um, we just put a bunch of footage, random footage just together. And yeah, that's how we came out. So, if you notice, all I need was super innocent. Super innocent. But then, Child Justice is a complete 180 concept, and that was what we did. That was our intentions. We show both sides. And, uh, came out great. Who it is, Felix? How was your day? It was great. Well, so far so good. I'm gonna go on stage soon. Shout out, you're a Felix fan, aren't you? Shout out to Felix. I saw him the other day. He's a really good kid. Shout outs to the straight kid. <coughs> is this really the best, best mukbang you've ever seen? Hey. Nasty, my bad. I'm trying to make it look tasty. I guess it was nasty. Are my view counts going down now? Are people leaving? <laughs> yep, they're leaving. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, yeah. Any other questions? What's up, Brian? Jay Shaw XO. Hi. So once again, I apologize uh, for some of the mistakes that happened yesterday. They released a song. That they re they they released a song late. All that other stuff, but whatever. Why does Jungkook remind me of you? I don't know. Everybody says we look alike and we all sound alike. Maybe he's my lost brother. Maybe he's my brother in another life. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you for loving the video. Are you a singer? Are you a singer, bro, Jay? Uh, yeah, but I can't be singing like those pop songs anymore. <laughs> I started off as a singer when I was younger and then... My brother started rapping, and then um, I just decided to rap because I wanted to be like my brother. So I rap. Um, I remember I had a very cheap mic, one of those computer mics from back in the day. Like it looks like a straw, but it's actually a mic, right? So I had that mic. And I was in like what, sixth grade? Sixth grade? Sixth, seventh grade, seventh grade, yeah, sixth, seventh grade. I figured out how to record my voice on the computer with that stupid, that little cheap computer mic so that I just started rapping and recording and recording every day. I like starting seventh grade, I was recording every day. And then, 
somehow I found another mic, and this time it was one of those better mics, like those karaoke mics. So I hooked that up, and, then I, and the quality was a lot better. So I, I started recording more, started releasing songs on the internet. I was like, what, 12, 13, 14? And I was, internet just came out. Like Napster just came out, LimeWire just came out. MP3.com just came out. I don't think you guys know anything about this, but this is like when MP3s first was invented. So, you know what I'm saying? I was, I was getting it in at an early age, and um, my parents used to complain because I was in the basement and I would record late at night, and I'm screaming like Tupac and DMX trying to rap. And then the thing is, there's a ventilation system that gets connected straight to my parents' room, and they just hear me till like three in the morning. And then when I see them crashing down the stairs to yell at me, I just turn everything off and I just pretend I'm sleeping. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, those were the days, man. Those were the days. But it was because of that that I, you know, when I record a song, I record a song in like 20 minutes. I don't take no longer than 30 minutes to record a song because all my life I was recording so much that it became to the point where I could just one take the whole thing. So I don't I don't spend more than 30 minutes on my recordings. Uh, the reason, long time ago, the reason why I had to try to record fast was because when I actually started paying for studio time, it was like like $80 an hour, and I never wanted to pass that hour, because once you pass an hour, it's double the price, so you record for an hour and 20 minutes, no, an hour and 10 minutes, it's 160 bucks, so I was like, yo, I cannot pass that hour, so my goal was to record everything in 15 minutes, and then record everything in 15 minutes, get it mixed in 45 minutes, and then ghetto mastered in five minutes, and we're done in an hour. I did that for about eight years of my life. Oh. Okay. 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 네, 진짜로? 선생님들 다 있는 데서. 오 마이 갓. 누구 머리? 그냥 가발에 하는 건데. 가발이? 네, 연습한 거 있잖아. 여자 머리? 응. Good luck. 행운을 빌게요. 감사합니다. 그리고 이 친구한테도 스프레이랑 두고 갈 거라서. 오케이. 양대 쓸 거예요. 땡큐. Thank you for the birthday wishes once again. Oh, I just forgot it's my birthday. <laughs> I don't even feel like it. Yes, I don't know if some of you know, I got some braids here, braids. I think, should I keep it, guys? Should I keep the braids? Fender. Braid it, I think I'll take it. Soul's in the building, what up, so? Oh my gosh, I, I can't believe so was in the room right now. What up? Don't do this? I kind of like it though. I kind of like it. <laughs> my man Medic Zami said, Fuck you and your birthday. Damn, bro. Damn, bro. You got you gotta say that, like, you don't got nothing nice to say? You got nothing nice to say at all? Nothing? My man said, freak you and your birthday. Wow, dude. That's what's up, though. That's what's up. Why do haters even bother commenting? Because they got nothing else to do. <laughs> they should be focusing on themselves. Y'all should, should focus on how to better your life. 
But as of this rate, you're just going to be stuck in your little room in front of your computer until you're a grandpa just pointing fingers at other people and judging them. And then once you die, you're going to be judged by God. Do you understand that? Do you understand how serious that is? Are you aware that you will be judged? Wake up, buddy. The Kaba? That's why, man, like one thing I live by in fear is that I'm gonna be judged one day. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, I ain't trying to do anything crazy, but I did when I was younger, but I did not know better. Now, My style is the best, huh? Nah, it don't bother me. I, I, I'm trying to help him. I'm trying to help him. I don't care if anyone talks shit. I'm trying to help them realize that y'all shouldn't be doing that. It's okay. <laughs> you need some milk. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Oh, catch it, catch it. What's your name? Why are you so young? I'm going to give you a link. I'm going to give you a link. I'm going to give you a link. I'm going Yeah, trust me guys. I got hated on all my life. Trust me. You want to talk about getting hated on? I got hated on my whole life. It's okay. Uh, are me and Jesse performing wet today? No. Unfortunately, they can't let us perform wet because it's 19 plus. Sorry, 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 sorry. You know, honestly, I don't even know why that song is 19 plus. I really don't know why. There's no vulgar languages, well, except one word, but that's not even really a curse. Okay, okay. That is so confusing, man. Hey, who are these guys? Yo, this is too bogged out, bro. This is bogged out. This is bogged out. I'm just trying to rap and just have fun. I see other kids like dancing and. No <laughs> Yeah. 
But uh. Oh, so what? Oh, there. Hundred Sky, thank you so much for the cake. It's delicious. Okay, bye. 잘 들어가고 시험 행운. 떨어지면 안 된디. 안 된다이. Thank you so much once again for all the birthday wishes, man. I can't believe you guys even remember. <laughs> Thank you. Shout outs to BJ Singe, 2004. Thank you, dipshit weirdo. I'm sorry to say your name like that. <laughs> you are not a dipshit. I'm sorry. I love rapping, but people ask me to sing instead, and it brings me down. Why don't you do both? You can rap and sing, no? That's what I'll do. That's what Jesse does. Who says you can't do both? You can do whatever you want. You're an artist, you can do whatever you want. the womb of queens with the heart of a king finna blow largest thing ducking the police make the veins I'm going with the wind yeah. Yeah, look, as an artist, you have to do what, what you want to do. That's when the best music comes out, when you do what you want to do. The moment you are forced to do something is when it is not going to go well. Your other team? Okay, we got eight teams left and then we're going up. Who is this? Who is this group? A Pink. A Pink. A Pink. A Pink. Okay, I thought they were A-Pink, but they're A-Pril. <laughs> right, great, great. They look like they're like 12. You know, it's like you're an artist, right? But they want you to draw the picture how you they want you to draw it, that's not being an artist. You're just following instructions. But you're not really being an artist. Yes. So um, I think the most important thing as an artist is you portraying what you want to portray, however you want to show it. That's what an artist is, okay? So don't be afraid to try new things. If your heart is telling you, hey, if your heart is telling you, hey, I want to do this, and it keeps on telling you that you want to do it, then do it. It's all right. The moment you don't do what your heart wants you to do is when things get, things get a little difficult, man. You heard? Follow your heart, your heart knows you best. I know you got good friends and all of that. But do you think your friends know you better than your own heart does? Your heart was inside you before you were even born. I'm pretty sure your heart knows you best rather than some friend that you just became cool with for like three years. 
You know what I'm saying? Follow your heart, your gut instinct. I follow my instinct. I was in fourth grade and I said, yo, I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be a rapper. I'm a, and I'm gonna be a successful rapper. I said that in the fourth grade and I didn't even know I was gonna rap. I didn't even know where to begin. The moment I got my first Notorious B.I.G. cassette tape, ready to die cassette tape, and um, uh, rest in peace to Craig Mack, but that was Craig Mack's tape album was the first album I got in hip hop ever. And ever since I got Notorious, ever since I heard Notorious B.I.G. and Craig Mack, I told myself that was fourth grade. I was like, yo, I'm gonna be a rapper. <laughs> I'm gonna be a rapper. I had no idea how to even rap. You, see, you understand? Like, you, you guys need to realize that things aren't that difficult. You want to be somebody? You want to do something? It's not that hard. Really, it's not. The world makes you think it's hard. The world makes you think it's difficult, but... Sorry. <laughs> You heard, so, um, you know what I mean? Follow your heart knows you best. This is my public announcement of the day. Matter of fact, this is my public announcement for the rest of my life. Your heart knows you best, okay? Don't let other things or other people <coughs> change the way you think and change who you are because that's what the world does. The world is here to fool you, man. You, you know yourself the best, okay? That's my public announcement, public service announcement for today. Go get it. There's nothing stopping you. And, uh, you know, if you need any advice or encouragement, I'm here. You know, we see the thing is, just not, it's not me who needs to do well. It's you guys that got to do well. The, you, you. You got to do well in life. And I have to musically inspire you to do well. So, I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to do what I can to inspire you to do what you got to do. Do what you want to do. And uh, trust me, stress, I've been through it these past few days. And one thing I could tell you about that is there's not much you can do to change the situation. You know what I'm saying? What you can do is do what you can to just fix whatever you can. But you can't completely change the situation. So I think when it comes to stress, especially after something has happened, it's just unnecessary. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, you, you know, you, you feel it, but... It's unnecessary. So it's like, it's a matter of you just getting over it as fast as possible and figuring out resolutions to solve the problem as best as you can. Or you could just sit there and stress over it for two days straight. You could stress, you could sit down and stress about that thing for two days straight when you know damn sure you cannot change the situation. Or you could skip that completely and just do what you can to Make the situation the best. I learned the other night, I cannot be thinking about that and just stressing for hours. It's literally pointless, you know what I'm saying? And it's not easy to do. Oh my gosh, I got another nugget. It's not easy to do, but as long as we're aware 
think that's the first step. Just being aware, okay? I think the most dangerous thing in this world is stress. It destroys your body, which is why the other day I posted an Insta story of me um, working out. I did clean and jerks, and I was really stressed at that time. But then, like, that's one of the ways that I could like release the stress. So that's another thing. Maybe there has to be a channel of output, a channel for you to output that stress. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I work out. You could run. You could. Go for a walk, you could wrestle your dog, do whatever you want. But I think staying still and pondering on the same thing is the worst thing you can ever do. You heard? Or eat a nugget. You stressed, eat a nugget. <laughs> I'm born and raised in New York. I'm born and raised in New York. I came to Korea five and a half years ago. Now, let me tell you something. I came to Korea with one bag of clothes. I came with like... So you don't understand, man. See, this is the beauty of life. I came to Korea with like 200 bucks. $200. A few pairs of undies, boxers, shorts, a few shirts. And I brought my MacBook and I brought my piano, my mini piano keyboard. That's the only thing as I brought with me to Korea. And I came here with nothing. And uh, let me tell you, you don't need much. <laughs> so you just need to take a leap of faith. That's what you need to do. Um, I was stuck in New York at one point and I was, I couldn't take it anymore. I had to get out of New York. I felt like I was on a complete standstill. Like I was frozen, I was still, I wasn't going nowhere. Musically, I wasn't going nowhere. Academically, I wasn't doing too great. You know, my spiritual life wasn't doing that well. And then I realized, yo, if you're at a spot, if you're at a spot where there's nothing positive coming out from you, why are you there? You know what I'm saying? Think about that for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I'm stressed out. I'm on a standstill. Musically, I don't know which direction to go. This, I don't know which way to go and that. Why am I still here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? Forget this. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. And... Uh, it was a matter of, I don't even care if I had no money. I just need to leave. And then, uh, so I left. I bought a one-way ticket to Korea, and I left. I went there with nothing. But it was a time for me to really find myself. It wasn't, I, I took it as an adventure. It's like, what's, I don't even know what can happen. But you know what? It's... I think it'll be better than the situation I'm in right now anyway, right? So, I left. You know, it's like a plant. You got a plant. Don't you want your plant to grow? Don't you want your plant to flourish? But then if you leave your plant in the shade, it's not going to grow. So if you happen to be in the shade, in the wrong part of town, you got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. I'm telling you, trust me. You gotta get out of there. Um, the world scares you because you need all these things. You need this, 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 this to live. I don't believe in that. I think if you take a leap of faith, a genuine, a genuine leap, I think God will take care of you. And look at me now. I mean, I'm still far away from my goals, but hey, I'm in M Countdown right now, looking fresh, about to go on stage with the baddest chick in the game, Jesse. And I would say that it was well worth all the nights I had to sleep on the street. The nights that I had to 
I didn't have no place to live. I had to sleep on the curb, man. Like, yo, I'm not afraid to share this with you guys because this is all real talk. Like, I'm not here to feed you guys with bullshit. I'm here to tell you facts, you know what I'm saying? And if you really, really want to flourish, you have to take that step first. You can't wait for it. You know what I'm saying? Don't underestimate your potential. The world makes people, un you underestimate yourself, for real. But it's not meant that way. I think we were all born, every, every human being is born for greatness. Every human being in this world is born and they're able to be great. But the problem is, is this world now, there's so many things we need to live when we really don't need it. Don't forget that. Don't ever forget that. Okay? She said, get off. <laughs> Yo, I'm preaching right now. Oh, we going up? Okay. That was my public announcement service. I mean, public service announcement for the day. Follow your heart. Don't let your friends, your people next to you don't know you as best as your heart does. So when your gut tells you something, it's telling you the right thing. Okay? Bye-bye. Hey, we're going on M Countdown. So tune into um, Mnet right now. Don't let anyone what? Yes. Yes, Jess. You can do whatever you want, guys. Don't listen to the world. They're lying to you. They're lying. Trust me. Trust Jesse. Alright, yo. Peace. See you later.